Hello everybody and welcome to episode 8 of Factorio for Beginners. Last time we met, um, I had started working on this um, steel smelter line and uh, off air I went ahead and set it all up. There's a bit of a ugliness here with the wires but that's okay. Um, what I ended up doing was I brought the coal in here and I split it so that it goes up this way and then I also split it so it goes downwards here. Um, realistically, we might want to put another splitter there so that I can take the iron out, I mean the uh, coal out for any other smelters that we may make in the future. Um, so there we go. Um, now I haven't turned it on yet because I wanted to save that magic for the viewers, you. And um, I also did um, some other things off air. Um, I went and fought a lot of the biters and um, I added some radars down so we could have more coverage. As you can see there are a lot of biter bases around um, and I took out quite a few um, which is both a good thing and a bad thing. Uh, basically I was trying to clear out our pollution cloud so that it has so we have room to grow um, but the bad part about that is that when you defeat biters, it increases the rate at which they evolve. And early, the earlier you kill biters, the faster that rate increases, um, or at least it increases it at a faster rate than, um, than if you were to kill them later in the game. Um, so hopefully that doesn't hinder us too much, um, but I guess we will find out. Now, um, I was looking around and um, we need a few things. This is a very small little stone patch that we have right here. Um, as you can see, it's not really digging up too much. It, I was only able to fit one miner on here. Um, and we're going to need more. Um, the closest stone patch we have, uh, I guess there's this one up here by the coal, which could be belted down with the rest of the coal. And I guess I can go ahead and remove this. Um, that's actually something cool. If you click somewhere on the map, you can create a tag. So say I wanted to say, all right, pick up this stone, um, and I could put a little uh, stone icon. Or is it? There we go. I could say I'm going to get stone from there, and that's kind of like a little reminder. Um, we're going to need more iron. Luckily, we have another iron patch here, and um, I and we do have stone over here, but. I don't really want to get over there right now. So I was also looking around and I decided I don't really like the way um, that this um, production line is headed because um, there are a lot of cliffs around here and it's going to get messy, um, especially with um, all the belts and um, with cliffs, you have to use undergrounds to get them um, past all the cliffs, and it just gets, it turns into a headache. So, um, another issue that I have with this setup here is that um, I didn't quite leave enough room. And I've been saying from the beginning it's a good idea to leave more room um, because I'm going to want bigger lines. I'm going to want, I know last time I said two, but. I'm thinking I want like four lines of iron, and then another four lines of copper, and then another four lines of other things like steel, um, maybe stone. And then I also want more than one line of green circuits. So moving forward, I think what uh, we're going to do is we're going to carry these um, finished product lines down a bit further so we can make sure we leave ourselves enough room. And we're going to have them down here like this. So we could have iron here, we could have copper here, we could have steel and, and stone or something here, uh, we could have green circuits, we could have another line for um, other products later, uh, maybe other circuits like the red circuits or the blue circuits, which I think they're processing units and something else. And then we're also going to be getting into um, oil soon, like lubricant and um, petroleum and we're gonna need stuff like that as well so I kinda wanna make sure that we have enough room and I was thinking we'd bring it down this way and move to the left 
um, which there's a lot less cliffs here, so that'll be beneficial to for us. Um, the um, one risk factor is that we'll be moving into the desert, which means our pollution will spread a lot faster. Um, but um, we'll also be around here, so we'll be able to protect it without too much of a problem. And as you can see, there are a lot of biters over here in the woodland areas, and the biters may be a little bit more spread out in the desert zones. I could be wrong, um, but I think that's what I want to do. So, um, how we want to do this, because I don't want to tear all this down just yet, because we do have some things being made. Um, so for now, I think what I'll do is I'll just split off um, like this, and when it comes time, when I make, I might replicate some of these things down on the new line, and once we do that, uh, we'll be good to delete that stuff, or get rid of it. But for now, we'll just leave it, and we'll do that. And so, like I said, we're gonna want like four lines of this. So I wanna make sure that we leave enough room, right? And then let's leave a couple lines here. And actually, we might not need to leave two there. We can probably just do get away with this. Realistically, we can probably get away with just bringing all the lines down next to each other. Right, so this would be our copper line. I counted that right. Okay. Okay, and steel would come down as well. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to get copper set up. It's not a good idea to scroll out while while placing down um, belts. Okay, so for now, again, we'll just branch this off and. Um, that down. Okay, and we can go ahead and turn on the steel smelting. Now, one thing we should note, we can see where the pollution is coming from. The majority of it is coming from our steam engines, um, which if we take a look, um, right now we have, we're only really producing about half of our power satisfaction, but I believe the second I turn those steel smelters on, that's going to change. Um, and I do have quite a bit of radars placed down which is unfortunate because that's taking up over half of our um, power supply. But we kind of need it because our pollution cloud has spread quite big. And as you can see, it's already spreading outside of uh, our coverage, which is not the best. Um, but, you know, as I was fighting these things, I would put down some radars just so we could get some more uh, coverage. So I may, be, I may turn these off at some point for a little bit if we need to for our power, but for now I'm leaving them um, just so we can have a better eye on our area and our safety. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn this on. And like I said before, I'm gonna leave these for um, more iron and more copper smelting. I'll probably need to add another one at some point. Um, let's go ahead, I think all we have to do is turn this on and then all we had to do is that. Oh, that's right. Okay. I also have to put these ones down. I'll also just do it now. And with that, we should be off. Okay, cool. So, as you can see, the iron is being placed into these smelters, which are then placing the finished iron plate into these. And those aren't working because, oh, because they need um, more than just one piece to smelt. I believe iron, uh, how does this work? I believe steel smelting takes more than uh, one plate. 
I'm not really sure. Oh, there we go. Um, steel takes five iron plates. So that's why this is going to take up a lot more. And let's see how we're doing on power now that we have these things running. Right, so now we have a lot more production. Um, so it's probably for the best that uh, we have all of those up and running. Okay, and as you can see, our pollution is going to grow quite a bit now from this. Um, which could get dangerous over in this desert area. Luckily, we look, we seem to be okay as of right now. Okay. So, that is exciting. We now have steel, which opens up a lot of um, things that we can make. Um, for example, um, the bigger power poles. These have a much farther reach, the big electric poles, and these cover a bigger area. These cover a 7 by 7 square whereas the old ones cover a 5x5 five five square. And we can also make um, heavy armor, which uh, I think we might want to pick up. Uh, let me just grab a little bit more. There we go. We can go ahead and make heavy armor for ourselves. That'll be nice. Um, and of course, it will lead us to some other things we can make as well. So let's see, what do we need to make next? Um, could make steel furnaces, which would be cool. We're going to need stone for that. Um, these furnaces, I think, just um, smelt things at a faster pace. They probably take up more um, energy. These take 180, and these old ones take also 180. So no, they're just better. So we may want to get those pretty soon. And also, we're going to be able to make tanks and things for liquid processing and things like that. So that's going to be really fun, as well as engines, um, which we we'll need for trains and to make a car and uh, we'll need pumps we may need pumps um, for liquid things as well so um, with that and we can also make solar panels which will help out a lot with our pollution and our energy problem uh, but that gets a little expensive so we might not go down that path yet I do want to get logistics too so we can make the faster belts um, which could come in handy um, sometime soon. So let's go ahead and just start with that. Why not? And I'm going to just, mm, let me see what this, let's cover this. No, it doesn't, of course. Oops, does this cover that? Nope, of course not. Okay, well, No, it doesn't. Okay, well, I'll bring it down somewhere else then. Um, just trying to find a better spot to bring this thing down. Let's go ahead and find our line. Looks like we'll be here. Okay, I'm just going to bring it down over here this way for now. Uh, may change that in the future. And, you know, realistically, since we are going to be replacing this, we don't quite need this here anyway, so I'm just going to remove this. Oops, I should have removed the inserters first. There we go. Okay. Let's bring this down a little bit more. And... There we go. Almost. Okay, cool. So now we have steel, and we can continue bringing this down to here. And I think we were probably 
probably don't need four lines of steel. Maybe we'll just do two. Um, something that I want to show, um, which is kind of cool. I've seen this on online. On um, seen other people do this, and um, it's a really neat way to um, balance things like your belts. Um, and one of the balancer setups I've seen, um, say we had, obviously you don't want to balance um, one belt across four because we have a nice full belt here, uh, but if we had a bunch of belts and um, say we were pulling a lot off this top line, then the bottom three lines would still be full and the top one would be a little less full and uh, we may not want that to be the case. Um, something I've seen people do is they take two, two um, splitters like this and then they take two of these things and the underground belts and then they take belts up like this right and then these things come out there and then two more splitters and then you have four balanced lines of iron now for our purposes right now it doesn't really quite make sense to have um, four belts because we are now taking uh, one full belt and splitting it across four four full belts. Um, so it's going to travel down a full line of four of these uh, at a much slower pace than it will travel across one line. Um, but I thought that, see, as you can see, this is like very slowly trickling in. But as we get more iron from more smelters, um, that will be pretty nice to have. Um, and I just kind of wanted to show that to you. Um, this is something to keep in mind for later. And um, just as a reminder, all what we don't want to do with those, uh, and I don't think we need it for those either. Um, I'll just leave it there as a reminder, but um, it is something kind of cool to know. Um, and I think I'll need more of these. Okay. And um, yeah, that's fine for now. So the reason I've um, placed these two apart is um, very simple. Um, gates are really neat. Um, what they are is um, they're like walls, but they stay up, and if you get anywhere near them, then they open up. So they're kind of cool for like setting up like really neat defensive turret areas. Let me see if I have um, a blueprint that my friend Alec made. Um, yeah, he he built this gun fort. I don't know. It's really cool. Um, basically, there's gates on all four sides, so enemies can't get in, right? And they're standing here, and these things are filled with turrets. Um, but if you come up here, then you know it'll let you in. And um, yeah, I mean, this, this stuff isn't necessary, but it looks really neat. Um, I like the way this, this looks. Um, so we may be setting some of those down later. OK, and um, you know, I might as well put this in our blueprints um, just so we have it. And I'm probably also going to let's just blueprint some of these things just so we have it as well. There we go. OK. Um, all right, so what do we need to set up first? We need to, um, well, green circuits would be nice. And what else would be really nice? Yeah, you know, let's, let's get green circuits going. Um, I think I'm going to actually break them down. I'm going to bring them down on the bottom side. Um, Now, oh, and I'm out of belts. And um, so 
So let me grab belts. This is why I didn't delete this stuff yet. Um, so that I don't have to sit here handcrafting everything while we... Uh, while I make other things. Um, but... Oh, let me put this heavy armor on. So I think what I want to do is I want to... I'm just going to finish this here um, so that we have it. Um, Okay, now, the reason I set these up, right, uh, with these um, two spaces apart is so that we can um, make things easier on ourselves when we want to split things off. And that's just so that the undergrounds have a nice way of splitting. Okay, cool. And then also... I know these are pipes, but I'm just going to put those there. Um, so let's say I want to break off some copper, which I do. I can, these fit perfectly there like this and like that. I'm just going to leave extra room just because. All right, cool. So. How do we want this to work? We're going to build a very similar setup to what we have up here. And since I have the blueprint, um, I will take it. We'll have something like this. Let's go ahead and get this out of here. Okay, cool. Um, except this is the wrong way. So, let's see, I need. Something like this. I'm just trying to space this out since I don't have it quite correct, um, I think. Let's see, I want this width here, like that. There we go. Okay, so that should be that input line. There we go, like this. All right, let's try that out. And uh, if I mess it up, I mess it up. Okay, so I need to make more of those. And I need more iron plates. Okay. So I'm going to set up a, uh, a new area to make um, circuits. Okay. Oh, okay. I had those as assembling machine ones. That's why. Okay, now this is going to be an input line of copper. Oops, that was unfortunate. Input line of copper there. This is going to be an input line of iron. And here's our output line. And yeah, I think that's, oh, you know what? I didn't need to have, I put one space too few, but that's okay. Okay. Get that like that. We'll copy this over. We'll copy that over. <laughs> I was debating whether or not I should be lazy or if I should just fix it. And I think I'm just going to fix it. So. 
that. The reason I don't want the bend in there is because the bend um, tends to When you have a bend, the uh, materials don't travel around the bend at the same rate uh, on the inside and the outside. The inside ones travel faster, so I just don't really want to have throughput issues. Um, so that's why I decided to fix that. So let's go ahead and put down almost put down these power balls. And let's see, we will be outputting onto this line here. Like this. And I am out of materials yet again. It'll be nice when we have everything set back up the way it should be. As you can see, this is why you don't want to split one belt across four, but that's okay. And we will pull the iron off that way. And put those there. we have these power poles running here. I may need to move those later, but that's okay for now. Okay, now we just need this copper and this iron to come down. So, we will do that just like this. Let's see, we'll be putting it onto our line. I think I'm going to make this one here the green circuit. Yeah. should do it and then all we have to do is take this up here like this and I believe that will just join up with this here cool and this will be the rest of these. 
which realistically probably might not backfill this direction, uh, but we'll see. So we have that, which is really cool. And um, I think what we'll do here is just for now, we'll take one of these again. We'll pop that down right there. I need to build some more splitters. Okay, now we are running out of time here. Um, oops, but before we before I leave, I do want to show you. I do want to set up. Um, I want to set up something that will make belts for me, so that we're not constantly handcrafting them. And uh, similar to the belt thing I had up above, but I also want it to make splitters and. Um, undergrounds and all of that good stuff. So let's go ahead and get that done. Uh, I'm gonna need a couple more splitters and these will be the last things of these that we craft by hand, probably for the rest of the game. So I do want to bring down some iron and we're gonna need more of these. Oh boy, let's cancel that. Okay, well, we're going to need a couple. Was I making those up here? Because if that's the case, I am wasting my time here. And your time. Let me see. Uh, I was not. Okay, so that's fine. Um, Are these twos? No, these are ones. Okay, well, at least I can salvage these. Okay, it's good enough for now. Okay. So what I want to do is I want to make, um, let's see, these will probably need, these will need gears. I'm just using that to space them out a little bit. Okay, uh, shoot, I forgot to grab belt when I was up there. Wow. Okay, well, I'll use this time to craft the rest of those while I grab the belt. And the gears. Oh, and we should start a new research here. Whoops, I totally forgot about that. That's, um... We should probably increase our damage. For defensive purposes. Now... Okay, what I want these to do is I want them to make gears. I want to make a lot of gears. Uh, this little arrangement is going to be, be making our belts, our undergrounds, and our splitters, um, which these all require belts, which require gears, and we're even going to use those to feed into the next tier, uh, which require even more gears. Um, 
and even more belts. So we're gonna need a lot of gears here. So what I want them to do is let's build those. Yeah, something like this. Okay, now what we're gonna have is these will be outputting onto these belts here. will um, these will feed in these will feed out and we'll need more here there and oh boy Gonna grab some more inserters and some more belt. Um, I think next episode, the first thing we work on will be crafting a area that also builds inserters and all of its various um, different versions. I can still only make that and just not grab all it. Okay. There we go. All right. So for now, I'll have these come out as regular inserters, but I'm going to change those to be the fast ones later on. Okay. And cool. Let's get bullet shooting speed. Okay, so these are going to build us uh, gears, and now what we can do is we can use these gears to build our um, belts. So, let's say we have them like this. This will be making belts, which needs plate and um, gear wheels, so actually I'm going to make a space for this, and I'm going to bring this plate around. need these to feed those as well so here we will set down this will be making belt right let me think about this let's see this will be belt so we need plate and gears so we're going to need um, plate and gears. Actually, maybe we'll do it like this. We'll put the insert here, and then output here. And these will go into some chests. Let me build a few of these. Like that, which will feed. So this, these belts will go into. Um, do these, do the undergrounds on this side. So this needs plate and transport belts. So the belts will go from here into the chest and into here. So I'll also need plate there. And I believe this needs plate too, as well as electronic circuits, which I will probably bring down here onto the side. So it'll go something like this. And uh, I'll just bring the circuits down that way. Now, we'll also have 
these dumping out into chests, and this is where we'll actually store things. So these really only need like one, one stack. Um, I thought that would copy, but I guess it didn't. Um, so the belt will go out into here just to help feed these, and these things will be the actual storage chests. So let me limit these somewhat. Right, so we just need power poles, which we do have steel, so I'm gonna just pick them pick up some steel so I can handcraft some real quick. There we go. Let's get some of these medium power poles and maybe some big ones too. And next episode I'll also set up a smelter to make that or a um, production area to make those. Now, this is how the big power poles work. They're really cool. They have a very far reach, as you can see. Let's pop that down there, just so we have something to reach. Let's see, that looks good. That looks great. And um, there, and there. Oh, and then we need one belt, one inserter going that way. And there we go. We have belts being made, uh, and we have undergrounds being made, which, like I said, we'll pop these on that way, like that. And so these will be made a lot faster. And uh, I'm probably gonna put blue inserters on this whole thing here. Um, and as you can see, we're running low on power already, so I'll have to increase that a little bit as well. And just to demonstrate one last thing, let's bring the circuit line down. Is that wrong? Yes, that was wrong. A little placeholders there, just for visual reference. There we go. Ooh, uh, and of course, um, I should have paid more attention to that. Let's just move this just the slightest bit. There we go. Okay, so we now have circuits coming up and that will feed um, these um, splitters. And those, these will be the next tier of belt. These will be red fast transport belts. These will be red undergrounds. And these will be red splitters. And uh, But we'll have to get into that next time. So I hope you enjoyed. Um, and I hope you can see that we are going to prosper a lot better going this direction. So if you have any questions or comments, uh, please leave them down in the comment box. As you can see, our pollution is getting close. So the next episode should be rather interesting. 
So I hope to see you next time. Have a great day.